All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Ka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And today's lesson comes from Fox News, and we're going to entitle it Interracial Marriages. As you can see on the screen, you know, you have a, uh, uh, one of the tribe women on your, uh, you know, on your right, you know, and on your left, you know, it seems to be an Edomite, which, you know, that's where he proclaimed himself to be as a so-called white man. And she, uh, uh, claimed, uh, herself to be as a, a so-called black woman. And they have, uh, <clears throat> I guess they have, a. Uh, kids i guess together and i think she got a, a child uh previous uh previously to the marriage and um we're gonna let the video play and we'll come back with one or, i think i got one or two precepts um uh, to go along with this video so uh <clears throat> we'll let it go ahead and play and lord willing is edifying to the flock Welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to formally welcome you to our parent university session. In March of 2019, our Board of Education unanimously approved um, our equity policy. This policy also seeks to disrupt societal and historical inequities arising from institutional racism and white supremacy in our schools. What will that message gain us? What type of inspiration are we expecting people to get from this? from critical race theory. The social justice standards are a roadmap for anti-bias education at every stage of kindergarten through eighth grade instruction. Are our kids, are they half oppressor, half victim? How does that work? And when they come home, who do they see? Do they see their mom and their, and their dad? Or do they see um, an oppressor and, and, and the oppressed. Developmentally, we know um, they can be activists, but we must build their capacity for seeing injustice first. And do they see me as the person who is losing out on all of this because I'm Black and the system has been stacked against me? All schools are rooted in white supremacy. Racism is really systematized. So it's in the air we breathe. It's in the water we drink. It is truly all around us. Because of our skin color, now we're different people than the people that are raising them, the people who love them, the people who are supporting them. Most importantly, um, this work is just foundational to who and what Oak Park is. I was like, who is this? <laughs> and, and, and the way I feel about her, she thinks I'm crazy, but I'm like, I, I love you. I, I love you more today than I did when I first met you. And all the stuff that I saw about her, I, you know, and I, I told my family and friends, I'm dating somebody from Chicago. And they're like, why, you know, you can meet girls around here. I'm like, I've never met anybody like her. The way I admired her at the time, I admired her even more because I'm like, wow, she was a single mom in high school. She graduated high school, got her LPN, got a double major from DePaul University with working full-time, full-time student. And once I found I found this out about her, I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I already thought she was special and just, you know, and- and She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Connecticut and I grew up in a very diverse um, uh, community, but there's something about Oak Park where we have a block party twice a year, every block, and you get to know your neighbors. Being black and from the west side, you know, it's, you don't always know, you know, that you, that, that white people are like safe. You don't always feel like that. And so, you know, in Oak Park, you just felt like you could come and be around everyone and nobody would look at you like you didn't belong. We walk into Chicago and we're holding hands and people stare at us. And in Oak Park, we feel... Listen, guys, the secret's out. You can receive up to $3,148 a month in government support. Normal. When that 
that white flight happened, Oak Park was the first community in the Chicago area where the white community didn't leave and started having um, members of the black community moving into Oak Park. In 1964, Oak Park started an uncharted journey. The goal? To eliminate discriminatory barriers to integrate Oak Park. Oak Park All-American City means to me that it really exemplifies the spirit of people living together of all different kinds, races, professions. Well, it was, you know, one of these huge campaigns. It was sort of like anything else that you want to have happen in society where you're working for social change. We had very active committees. We were working to attract more black residents to the community, so we did a lot of outreach, open houses, potluck suppers. On the eve of May 6th, the village board, with a vote of five in favor, two opposed, passed the Fair Housing Ordinance making it illegal to use race as a basis to discriminate against anyone seeking to rent or buy real estate. Well, I first purchased a home, and then after I sold my home, I bought a building. And uh, a few months ago, I purchased a second building. And I hope to purchase another building, because the property values are all going up. school that our kids go to, there's a lot of questions coming from the community about why not more black students are on grade level, but I think we are looking to uh, explain it away using racial, uh, using critical race theory. So instead of us actually digging deep and looking into um, all the nuances that are involved with uh, school achievement. We have, we've, we've watered it down, we've dumbed down the reason now to, it's because the system is racist. And I asked one of the um, district coordinators for diversity, what are we taking away in order to teach this so social justice? She's like, oh, it's not taken away from anything. And, and I'm saying, well, unless we're extending the school day, this is taking minutes from something. Is it taken away from math or English? They have like a regular, you know, standard math class that they offer at the middle school and like, a, you know, a, an advanced math class and then like the honors level math class, they got rid of the, you know, the level in between because there weren't enough kids of color in the Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. So you can kind of get the, uh, <clears throat> you know, you can pretty much get what I'm what I'm, I'm, I'm getting at, uh, I suppose, you know, um, so as you can see, you know, you have this, this couple here, uh, you know, this interracial couple, and a lot of people may see this video that I'm making, you know, it's all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and say that, you know, I gotta be racist, but the most highest racist, man, you know, he has his chosen people that he's dealing with, and no other nation that he's actually dealing with, you know, like, you know, I have said this, uh, maybe in my last video where I said, uh, the most high is the creator of all pe all things and all people, but he has one particular, you know, everything that he's, you know, that he loves. Okay. That's his favorite basically, you know? <clears throat> so, uh, uh, let's go to, okay, let's get Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. It says, Neither shall thou make marriages with them, thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. See, and this is uh, was dealing with, uh, you know, uh, I believe the Canaanites, I believe it was, and uh but this is, this is for all nations, man. The Most High is not dealing with mixing nations, you know. And that goes back to uh, the, 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 you know, the, the Tower of uh, ba Baal, I believe it was, uh, where they was trying to uh, get all nations, you know, together. <clears throat> Same thing as they're doing now, you know. You know, they're trying to uh, uh, do a one world uh, order, 
uh, New World Order or whatever they call it, it is one one world government where everything is, you know, is the same and everyone is worshiping every this same particular entity, you know, which you know for sure it ain't, you know, you have Bashimi I was shy, you know. Uh, you know, and one language and you know, one everything up under this one umbrella, you know. But that's not the case and the most high destroyed that uh you know, that towel back then and, and they been doing it throughout uh, you know, <clears throat> these different uh, uh kingdoms okay deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 4 it says for they will turn away thy son from following me see and that's the reason man okay the most high wants you so-called negroes to stay with your own and you hispanics and native americans you know all we're, we're one nation of people now we can marry within each other i mean Hey, you could get a, 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 a you know, a, a, a northern kingdom, a brother that may look just like him or be even better looking than he is, you know? But, hey, this this is Eve right here, man. This is uh, <laughs> Eve in the garden all over again, man. You see? Getting game on, basically, by the, uh, you know, by the serpent. It says for a, they will turn away thy son from following me. Following who? The Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and his ways and statutes, laws, and commandments. That they may serve other gods. See? So will the anger, so will the anger of the Lord Yahweh be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. See? Hey, you don't want that. But, you know, some people say love is blind. You know? But eventually... This Edomite is going to click, man, or vice versa, you know. But Eve, you know, you can see she she she's submissive under the, uh, uh you know, uh, under this Edomite, man, okay. And I, I watched a video uh, today on, I guess it was like a short video, I guess it was on uh, uh, Instagram, man, where uh, I can't remember who it was, but this guy, he, uh, he had like this... Uh, like he had like a, a interview with this white woman in a car and it was kind of reminding me of that uh you know that the smoke box where uh be real have like different celebrities you know and they smoke weed in the car but this was like uh this so-called black guy you know with a so-called white woman and the white woman and the and the and the brother was saying you know that she was telling the brother that you know, uh, if a white guy, well, yeah, if a white woman decides to, a so-called white woman decides to, you know, be with a, a, a black guy, he's, she's not, he's looked, she's looked down upon, or, you know, or, or, or it, you know, it, it's not a top choice, or people wouldn't see it as a top choice thing. You know, she's saying as a white, when he, he said, he said, I, I completely, you know, disagree with you. Well, she was like, well, I'm a, so I'm a white woman. And I know that if, if I choose, a, if a white woman choose me or a white man or a black guy choose me, you know, it, it'll be looked down upon, which, you know, we all know that, you know, but we know who's the best, man. We know the Israelite man is better than the so-called white man. In all aspects of life, man. Okay? The so-called white man wants to be like the so-called black man. You know? He wants that birthright back. <coughs> Excuse me. Which he won't get it back, man. And his time in his kingdom is almost over with. So you're going to see more of these Edomites going to, uh, you know, they're going to catch hell, man. Uh, they're going to be acting out, basically. So... You know, and and that's the time that we in. Let's get this uh, precept here. Uh, it made me think about Isaiah, and uh, I think that might be one of my favorites. I don't know, man, because for some reason I always go to this one here, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, is it thirteen? And uh, where it says uh. 
Yeah. And verse 15, it says, everyone that is found, everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Hey, if you found with this so-called white man in these end times, you're going to fall by the sword. You know, thus said the scriptures, man, the Holy Bible, man. Yeah, how about Shimmy Abishai? This is his word, man. Okay, let's get this last uh, precept, man, and we're going to. We're going to end it. <clears throat> okay, this is the book of Tobit. Uh, what am I looking for? Here we go. It says, uh, Tobit chapter 4 and verse 12, it says, Beware of ho our hoarder, my son, and chiefly take a wife of thy seed, of thy father, of thy fathers, and take not a strange woman to wife. To wife. And this is going, you know, this is either or, you know, a woman or a man. Now, you can put this. You know, the woman in this place where it says the son, or you can say a daughter, okay? It said, which is not of thy father's tribe, for we are the children of, of the prophets, Noah, Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob. Remember thy son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all marry wives of their own kindred. See? And that's what, hey, that's what it has to be, man, okay? And it says, uh, and we're blessed. And their children and their seeds shall inherit the land. Hey, that's what it all is going to come down to, man. That so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans going to get your own land, man. Or oh, we're going to get our own land. And we, everything will be in righteousness, man. We'll, you know, and we'll rule the earth, man. You know, no more a uh, uh, shortage of, uh, you know, uh, 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 animals and shortage of food and. You know, we're we're gonna we're gonna live in righteousness, man. You see, and the earth is gonna flourish under 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 the rule of Yahweh Shimei Abishai and the Israelites, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right there, man. Uh, we're going upon 20 minutes, uh, so we're gonna give our praises and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kadosh. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone for teaching us this truth, and shalom to the whole elect. <laughs>